Hello there. I'm going to show you a trick called Triumph by Divernon. I consider it to be probably one of the best no setup tricks out there, to be honest. But here's what it looks like. Allow the spectator to, uh, what, what am I saying? Allow them to shuffle up the deck. After that, uh, they're going to tell me when to stop as I dribble through the deck. So right here. Remember this card here, which is the Queen of Clubs. All right, I'll dribble the rest on top. Then we'll give the deck a little bit of a shuffle here to get their card lost. Then I'm going to flip over about half of the pack here and we'll shuffle this together as well. All right. So now it kind of creates, you know, a bunch of mixed cards here with, uh, you know, many cards face up, many cards face down. Big mess. Now all I have to do is flick back, flick myself. Now every single card is face down except for one is your card. Not teach you how it's done. Hmm. It looks kind of cool. I, I don't know why I did that though. So here is how that trick works. Start off by allowing the spectator to shuffle up the deck however they want. Literally. And then all you have to do from here is get their selected card to the top of the deck. And there's many ways of doing that. There's like the Herman Pass, the uh, Spread Pass. There's the Trapdoor Pass, which is one I at least came to and made up on my own accord, but it's probably been done by someone. And which was that one where I went like this, you know, the Six of Clubs, bam, it's on the top. Now, if you want an in-depth tutorial on how to do that, I'll link it up here. Uh, and I sh uh, it's on my channel. So after you control their card to the top, all you have to do, or what I like to do, is I'll give the deck a shuffle just while maintaining their card on the top to make them think that I'm losing it. After you do that a couple times, you're going to flip over the bottom half of the deck, and sometimes a little bit less, it makes it easier. All right, so I flip over the bottom half. From here, you can reveal these cards if you want just to verify their, any of their concerns. I like to go straight to shuffling. But what you're gonna do is called the Zaro Shuffle, or the Zaro Vault Shuffle, all right? So you're going to shuffle these two cards, these two packs together, just like this, maintaining their card right on the top of the pack like that. I'll give a brief review because there is tutorials out there and I'll link up here. Basically, you're going to push this card forward while simultaneously twisting this pack and unlocking it, all right? Under the cover of this card here. Then after you're at this point, you're going to lift up this pack into it gently like this. All right, so now it would be in this order. Okay, after this, uh, this is an, another cool move, uh, not by me, but by someone else, where you're going to purposefully cut to a face-up card here, all right? So you're gonna cut to a face-up card. With these two packs here, you're going to split them in half, move it far up, and then split those packs in half again to the center to show kind of like this face-up, face-down uh, pattern here. And then you're going to what I like to do is not go back in the exact same order to make it look like it has to be in order. I'll go like this, you know, make it look kind of haphazard. And then when it's back in its order like this, what I like to say is, you know, there's many cards face up and face down. Now, while I'm saying that, I'm gonna cut purposefully to a face up card here, just like this. I'll reveal it like that. I'll put this pack down. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna try your best to cut to this point in the deck right here, all right? Now, because those cards are face up and face down, the backs of them, it's going to be pretty easy to cut there. Like right now, I could cut to that, you know, right here. And how you know you're, you've cut to that spot is by the back to back cards here. If any of them are face up, you've gone too far or too less, right? So at this point, you're going to take this pack and flip it over into your other hand like that, right? Not like this. Okay, that's too far. Like this. Then you're going to pick up this pack show the bottom, put it down, and then take this pack and put it on top. Now the deck is set up, as you can see, right? The cards were originally like this. You flip that card over, with that pack, and then, as you can see there, flipped over just like that, right? And then you can reveal it however you want. I like to flick myself for no apparent reason, and then you show their card there. That's the trick. Thank you for watching and uh, get married. Like if you're single, like what are you waiting for? Like, come on, like propose.